Good morning, everyone. We are really happy to be here. OK. Now I'm going to talk about the new technologies based on NVMe and new obtain DC persistent memory, OK, new, new server solutions. So and the first one that I need to tell is why it's way to great to the second generation from the Intel scalable CPU, scale A. OK, all of our servers based on the X11 technology has been upgraded with this Intel technology as well. Whoops, uh, we have a problem with the. I'm going to put close. Ah, I'm sorry, so. <laughs> okay, first one is faster, okay? 35% much faster, exactly with the same range from the predecessor, scale lake. Okay, or also it's possible to hit the lower price with the same performance. The most important thing for me is enable the Intel Obtain DC memory. And obviously, with new flags like FPPA, EA, something like that, is available now with the new Cascade Lake technology. And very important thing, the new storage technology, name it Obtain DC. Okay, it's enabled in all of our servers, basically in Cascade Lake CPU. It's incredible faster, really. That's impressive and very, very faster. Okay, and cheaper. This is strange, okay, because we are talking about the persistent memory, and really, these are a good surprise. The price are very welcome. Okay. Final result is better and faster business solution. With Okay, with the TNDC. So like Supermicro, we have the standard density storage servers, okay, based on rotational disk, 3.5, 2.5 with hybrid solution. In this hybrid solution, it's possible to include 3, 4, 1 NVMe disk drive inside with hybrid connectors using the PCI card or directly with the Oculink port, directly to the motherboard, okay? This is for standard solutions, and in general, all customers are using this NVMe disk drive for metadata, RocksDB, something like that, okay? That do you need. I want to explain this special server, okay? This server is for you from factor, up to 60 hard disk drive, rotational disk inside, 3.5 or 2.5 disk, and currently, with the new Obtain DC, we can have with this server a very hybrid technology using the three types of storage. Rotational disk, also it has in the number five the possibility to include six NVMe disk drives okay, inside the server. And also now it's possible to include the Obtain DC inside the server. So it's possible to have in the same node very hyper-convergence storage, like rotational disks, NVMe disk drive, and Obtain DC, okay? Networking also is very important, okay? We need a very, very good bandwidth to support this technology. This server in the number six, okay, it's possible to select our Xeon cards. Our Xeon cards is a suitable networking, and we can offer some technologies, like gigabyte, 10 gigabyte, but for this technology, I recommend it 25 gigabytes and 100 gigabytes per second networking. Not only for networking, okay, into the background with another protocols like Rocky, RDMA, okay, to get the better performance and very low latency inside the server. Also, it's possible to include two RARDs for installed operating system, okay, and hardware background is also very important to support all of this storage. This server is possible to support the 205 baht CPU, Platinum, Intel Cascade Lake CPU inside with three UPIs between the CPUs to support all the PCI communications, okay? Also, 24 DIMM of memory, up to six terabytes of DRAM memory, up more space using Obtain DC, okay? The result is in only one server up to 8,840 terabyte of global storage and up to 48 terabyte of NVMe disk drive, exactly in the same server. Okay, without, without obtaining this fee, only with the solid state disk and rotational disks here. But this is on 
comfort storage zone, okay? Do you know this? We have a lot of technologies currently now from the storage, SATA, SAS, SSD, NVMe, Obtain, Intel Obtain, and the new Intel Obtain DC. In general, for the storage, in general, we always use the SATA, SAS disk, and SSD on NVMe for, for metadata or database data allocation. Our comfort zone is using NVMe for all, okay? For all storage, for all databases, for all logs, absolutely for all, okay? It's very simple. Check this the performance about the disk, okay? It's very, very high performance with the NVMe disk drive, and now with the current persistent memory, we are talking about the 40 gigabytes per second, okay, in the sequential read speed. It's incredible faster. Okay, so we have the larger portfolio in the world talking about NVMe solutions, okay? So for example, this is a very good example about the Intel Obtain. DC technology. In general, in the past, four half, three terabytes of RAM memory, we must use the one, 128 DRAM size. Okay, but now currently with Obtain DC, Obtain DC also can work in both in different types, persistent memory or local memory. Okay, we have to upgrade up close to eight terabytes of persistent memory. About our storage server, I'm going to go more fast. We have two types, the tire number one and the tire number two. The difference is in the tire number one, the NVMe disk is connected directly to the CPU without any PC switch. With, we will have the best performance, okay? And the second one in the tire two, we are using the PC switch. See a very high density form factor, up to half petabyte in NVMe in only one U. And hyperconvergence, we have our big twin server four nodes in one U and one in two U form factors. Okay, this, I'm going to go fast, I only have one minute. <laughs> this service that we have in our boot is the new small form factor, okay? This is a very low consumption disk with the same performance as the classical NVMe disk drive. With this server, we can upgrade to 16 terabyte disk, okay, up to half petabyte in only one U with the new cascade generation. As well, it's possible to you the Obtain DC, for example, in the blue storage to allocate the RocksDB. And obviously with the two PCI ports to allocate our network card. In this case, it's obviously 100 per second. GBOF is uh, an extender like GBOF, but to allocate it externally to the server, internal NVMe, okay, we can create four, three spares to allocate it in another server, more NVMe per, per server, okay? Like this example for hyperconvergence solutions, like we can have 14 disks in only one node in three U's. Four server, 56 disks in total in only three U's. Okay? So, <laughs> we are on time. Thank you. Thank you very much for your attention. Okay? If you have any question in the book, myself and my colleagues, thank you so much. <laughs>